Despite a huge fan following, Ram truck sales are in the tank. Today, the sales stats, the possible reasons behind the sales decline, and the dealership situation, which is important to note. So Ram is number three for best-selling trucks in the US, according to the Good Car, Bad Car rankings. Ram sales over the first three months of this year are 105,000. Ford holds the highest rank with 170, and Chevy Silverado is around 127, rough numbers. Now, looking at the sales pattern for the last few years, it's kind of depressing, both for the company and for dealerships, even though I know you don't care about dealerships. Ram market share was 3% in 2016 and boasted 4.13% the year Ram introduced the 1500. The company's market share was at its highest in 2021, 4.33%, when it sold 647,000 units. The latest numbers show Ram sales down 4% in 2022, and stats for 2023 are on a similar trend. It's not all rainbows and butterflies for GM and Ford, but not as bad as it is for Ram right now. Let's move on now to the possible reasons behind the sales decline and their problems. There's no doubt that Ram has aged pretty well, but competitive models are now besting the 1500. The company came up with some updates for the 2500, 3500, but no major changes. The fifth generation Ram now offers the heads up display, rear view camera mirror. There's also an updated infotainment system, a few more powertrain options, but Ram is competing with Ford, which completely revised the interior of the F-150 and GM also remodeled their older versions uh, in 2019, 2022. So let's compare the engines then. First, Ram hasn't had any major upgrades to their powertrains. They're still good, don't get me wrong, they're still good, I'm just saying. On the competitor side, Ford has a hybrid, a fully electric pickup truck, those good engine options there, while the 1500 Duramax diesel engine for the Silverado got some significant modifications to enhance horsepower and torque. So this must be addressed. The powertrains must be addressed for Ram to be competitive in the future. Now, the biggest problem facing Ram is their sales decline. There's an obvious reason from the experts on why Ram is facing a lower demand. Simply put, price range. Ram trucks were the most affordable back in 2018 and 2019, with Ford being the most expensive. Now the situation has reversed. Ram is selling the most expensive trucks on the market right now. As mentioned earlier, a lack of new features, powertrain options, and so on versus the competition is not helping their case either if and when prices get closer to the competitors. Ram tried to manage some of these problems recently by offering discounts and incentives like 500 bucks on a lease, or 4.9% on financing. However, with massive price tags, these incentives have done little to help the bottom line. High inflation is also crushing auto sales across the board. Post-pandemic, shoppers have become more and more cautious about making big purchases, rightfully so. They want to buy the best options available in the market in terms of value, and Ram isn't offering that at the moment. High inflation also means high car prices since the raw materials are more expensive than ever. According to J.D. Power, there's been a 4.2% increase in new vehicle prices in 2023. As a result, auto sales in the U.S. have declined to about 9% compared to 2021. And dealerships are dying as well because of high interest rates. Do you care? Probably not. But these higher interest rates can make it more expensive for shoppers like you and me to finance these new vehicles, lowering the demand, making it harder for dealerships to stay afloat, again, as if you care. The U.S. Central Bank recently raised interest rates to the highest level in 16 years as it battles to stabilize prices. The Federal Reserve increased its key interest rate by 0.25 percentage points, its 10th hike in 14 months. That pushed its benchmark rate to between 5 and 5.25%, up from near zero in March of 2022. Although the Fed did hint the rise may be the last one for now. We'll see. As you can imagine, Ram dealerships are facing dual problems here. On one side, the truck prices are too high to afford, and the demand is lowering, increasing their levels of inventory on the lots. The unsold inventory with the high interest rates is a financial nightmare for Ram dealerships. With inventories piling up of unsold Ram trucks, 
Dealers are desperate. Great news for you and me. Are you planning to buy a truck, a Ram truck? Now may be a really good time. If you visit quotes.everymandriver.com, you can see the deals being offered by Ram dealerships in your zip code. You can price shop between the local Ford dealerships or Chevy dealerships. Make them compete for your dollar. Quotes.everymandriver.com is a free search engine. You select the make model in your zip code and qualified dealers who sell those vehicles will pop up. If you don't find what you're looking for in your zip code, simply expand that zip code. Be willing to travel a few miles to save a few hundred, possibly a few thousand dollars on a new or used truck in your area. When you get these quotes, you can bring that to the table and say, hey, Ford's offering this, Chevy's offering that, Ram's offering this, make me a good deal. I know you're desperate. Don't tell them that part. I know you're desperate. Let's make a deal. I want to save some money. I sure hope you found this video helpful. There's more to come. Please subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff, and I'll keep working for you. Until next time, I'm Dave. Adios. Thanks for watching. Please cr click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.